Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Temtem video. Today I want to talk about the potential changes we may see to the meta as a result of the Kisiwa update, specifically due to the addition of new Temtem, new gear items, new techniques, and new traits. Now of course we don't know every single Temtem or move or gear or trait that's coming to Kisiwa, nor do we have any of the Temtem stats per se. However, given Kisiwa's focus on both earth and neutral types, as well as a little bit of speculation regarding some future moves we could see, I do think we can at least have a general idea of how the meta might shift and which Tems might lose their figurative crown, so to speak. Now first things first, to grossly oversimplify the Temtem meta currently, uh, crystal types are dominating with threats like Gialis, Valash, Mix, Tuvine, and Mudrid being quite prominent. There are also an abundance of wind types that are able to thrive due to wind's only weakness being electric, and since we haven't traveled to Chipanku just yet, the electric types available are just Nesla, which is a C tier Temtem and not used very much, and Gazuma, who's decent but can easily be worked around by banning it. Temtems like Volarend, Pigapek, and Grandpa are able to thrive in this meta as well. Now, of course, it goes without saying that this is an early access title, so there's going to be balancing issues and such, but honestly, it's pretty decent despite the fact that uh, we're missing certain types and there's other types being super prevalent. So currently the more prevalent types are wind, water, nature, fire, toxic, and crystal in terms of representation, with the less represented types being neutral, electric, digital, mental, and melee. Of course, all of these line up with the island themes. Anyways, with that being said, we know that earth and neutral types are going to be mainly coming to the next update with maybe a few different types as well, but they'll be in the minority. In terms of the overall meta, I can definitely see a shift in the over-centralization of Temtem like Gialis as Earth directly counters Crystal. And if we look at specifically some of these Tems, we pretty much know that we have this uh, Corrin line that's coming, which looks like it's going to be a mono Earth type with a high speed stat, but more notably look at this guy. This Machamp looking fellow seems to be an Earth melee type, meaning it's not going to take times 2 damage from Gialis' Haito Uchi like other Earth types would. Couple this with something like the Energy Drink item, and honestly, I think this thing might be a Gialis slash Crystal Killer. I could see it perhaps just based on design alone, acting as sort of like Tuvine, uh, being a hard hitting tank with low speed, but only time will tell. With regards to the addition of more neutral types, unfortunately I don't see these affecting the meta too much unless we start to get sort of strange neutral types like we do with normal types in Pokemon, you know, something like Chansey where it has an absurd HP stat to make up for that poor defensive typing, or something like Smeargle, or something, something odd, like an oddity that may affect the meta in a way that you wouldn't be able to tell just based off its type. So if neutral type is treated sort of like a wild card with Thames that feature interesting traits and movesets, then perhaps we will see more being used. But again, I can't make any educated predictions on that front. What the addition of neutral types could do though is give mental types more use, though mental is already pretty solid with its supports like Barnshi and Kinu being quite prevalent themselves. Speaking of mental, the raw copying gear is coming out and there's a spot in Dennis where apparently you can spawn Hocus, which if you've seen its evolution stats, it's going to act as a special sweeper with a respectable amount of stamina to boot. It also gets access to the move Psychosis, which gives the enemy a four turn doom status, which will make it quite dangerous if not defeated quickly. Also keep in mind that the final forms of the starters will be added this coming update and thus we can expect buffed versions of what we already know. Now I don't think Cheryl's evolution is going to shine just based on how Cheryl plays, but with Baboon being pretty solid considering it's not even fully evolved and advantageous over Earth types and Tentel being advantageous over neutral types, I could see their evolutions playing a larger part in the metagame given their less common typings as well as their sweeping capabilities. With regards to new gear, we don't have any information on that front. However, if we follow the sort of trend of gears based on what we do have, we could sort of get an example or an idea of what may be added. For example, we have certain gears that'll give bonus damage output or sort of less damage input to various typings, such as the hand fan, which increases outgoing wind damage, or the Tukma mask, which reduces incoming toxic damage. I could see them adding more of these gears for different types, so perhaps like specifically one for neutral type, one for earth type, both offensively and defensively, depending on how they decide to go with it. We could definitely also see some status preventing gears like the talisman or energy drink, for example, as well, or perhaps even more gears that are different. Perhaps a, a gear that prevents exhaustion or neutralized, for example. In terms of interesting gear items that are a little different, like Grease and Sweatband, for example, we could end up seeing items similar to the choice items from Pokemon or something like the Focus Sash. Depending on what we do get, I could see previously less useful Temtem becoming more prominent. I mean, Focus Sash Mix, Mix is already good, but with a Focus Sash, that would be kind of cool. As for traits and techniques, it's really hard to say what we see, but I could definitely see new techniques perhaps helping uh, the fire type a little bit. Now, since fire is weak to earth, they're going to need a little extra help staying relevant. 
Rays, for example, will likely drop substantially in use as its role of mainly is to stop crystal types and the abundance of earth types coming next update will probably fix that. So I could definitely see people using it less. But anyways, back to fire types. In terms of techniques, I could see new fire type attacks being added as the fire types grow in level. Currently, the roster of fire type attacks are underwhelming to say the least, especially when you look at moves like Hurricane, Crystal Spikes, and Hyperkinetic Strike having such a dominating effect on the meta. I mean, Ember's not going to do much compared to that. With that being said, if we do get better, more powerful techniques, I could see Thames like Mastion finally getting usage and the mixed variation of Ration being extremely useful once the Earth types are cleaned up from the enemy side of the field. I'd also like to see more ways to deal with uh, the Doom status, so perhaps we could see a technique that gets rid of that or something to that extent. Now, like I said earlier, we don't exactly have an abundance of information regarding the new Thames uh, traits, etc., which is a good thing. It allows for some surprise and it allows us to speculate and sort of get an interesting discussion going on about how the meta could change or how we'd like it to change. I'd like to extend that question to you guys. What sort of Thames or gears or traits or attacks or whatever would you like to see in the Kisiwa update? Any specific dual type combos you want to see? Make sure to let me know in the comments. With the Kisiwa update right around the corner, I'm looking forward to playing it with you guys and continuing to provide Temtem content for the community. As always, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Check out our subscriber Discord. All links in the description. Until next time, guys. Peace.